key message today is the need for Britain to become an exporting nation once again. People will pause and say, we are an exporting nation. Yes, but we're exporting to the wrong markets. We're primarily concentrating on the European Union and on the United States. I don't want to stop that, but I want to blend it. I want more exports to Brazil, Russia, China and India, and more exports to the countries which are growing in one stage behind them, the Mexicos, the Koreas, the Indonesias, the Bangladeshis. These countries have big middle class communities who want to buy British branded goods like Jaguars and Burberries. They want our manufactured goods and our services because they like the Western brands. But we're not really selling to those countries in sufficient quantity at the moment. Well, when we did a survey of FTSE 350 companies for this conference, 70% had seen a weakening of business confidence since August, but only 30% had seen a weakening of their business. That tells me that the underlying strength of the British business community remains strong. What's weak is confidence, and when confidence is weak, people sit on their hands. We know that the main reason confidence is weak is because of the dreadful events that are going on in the Eurozone, We've got to get over that and get back to doing what we're good at, investing as businesses and selling to export markets. Oh. Eight days' time, almost to the hour, the Chancellor will be stood up delivering the autumn statement. And in that autumn statement, he does have options to help the companies in this room, the thousand companies, boost growth by investing in housing, by investing in roads and energy and digital broadband, and by providing more incentives to take on young unemployed people. And that's a real opportunity which I hope the Chancellor will take. I was encouraged by the Prime Minister's speech today because we know that there are lots of first-time buyers out there that are effectively frozen out of the housing market at the moment because they have to put down maybe £50,000 as a deposit in order to get their first house. And that's simply not practicable for them unless they've got very rich parents stood behind them. So what he's talking about today is covering that with insurance, giving an insurance which underpins the gap between the loan and the value of the house. The Prime Minister didn't have a lot to say on youth unemployment. He touched on it until it was drawn out by questions. It was clear from the body of the Kirk that people are bothered about youth unemployment. The CBI's proposals, the Young Britain Credit, to give a £1,500 cash incentive, particularly to small employers, to take on a struggling 16 or 17 year old who can't find a job. This is vital to avoid the scarring effects of unemployment. I think the infrastructure opportunities for this country are enormous. I've been banging on about toll roads. Uh, we don't mind when we go to France or Spain on holiday, paying occasionally to go down a smart motorway. As long as there's a choice of roads, the old, perhaps congested road that we pay for through our taxes, and the new road, which we can use, a bit like the M6 Expressway, if we're prepared to pay a toll. The government hasn't the money to build those roads, but that road investment will lead to significant extra business investment that follows on from it. The private sector can build those roads if we have innovative funding solutions like road tolling. What message would you, would you give to CBI delegates here today? Difficult times, confidence is, is very low. What would you like them to take away from today? When times are tough, you have to dig deeper. You have to dig into those resources which enable you to do the things you've always known you've needed to do. In good times, we could sell to people within a 200 square mile. Now we've got to go on a 2,000 or a 4,000 square mile basis to get to the markets where there's money with, uh, that people want to buy the products and services we have on offer. So in tough times, dig deeper.